I'm Jenna with Stalls TV and welcome to the Craft Corner. For today's video, we're going to be printing outside the apparel box and heat applying glitter flake and fashion film to a faux leather pad folio. I picked my pad folio up from a local Target and we'll be cutting our heat transfer vinyl on the Silhouette Cameo and heat applying with our 9x12 craft press. I already have my glitter flake loaded into the cutter, so I'm going to go ahead and send my design. So now that our designs are cut out, we can go ahead and weed away the excess material from our carrier. I'm just going to double check to see if I left any leftover HTV in there that I don't want. I'm good, so I can go ahead and move on to the next piece. Looks like we're good, so we can go ahead and head to the press. So I'm going to start by laying down my heat printing pillow. Since we're going to be working with this pad folio that has a pocket on the inside, we want to be able to get a nice flat surface on this side so that we have a good adhesion. So I'm just going to lay this down right on top of this pillow. And that pocket that was behind there is going to sink into the pillow and create a nice flat surface for my transfer to apply. Okay, so for the fashion film, I'm just going to cover this for the cover sheet. And I'm just going to tack this for two seconds. Since this pad folio is a heat sensitive uh, item, I, want, I don't want to spend um, too much time putting too much heat on it. All right, so I'm just going to tack this for two seconds. And then I can go ahead and peel my carrier back hot. Alright, and then the next step is to lay in my CAD cut glitter flake. So I'm just going to lay this in right where its registration is against the fashion film. So I'm just going to cover my glitter flake with my cover sheet and apply this for two seconds as well. As I mentioned earlier, you don't want to expose the faux leather to the high heat for too long of a time. So I'm just going to tack this for two seconds and I can go ahead and peel my carrier back hot. And then since we're working with a heat sensitive item, we're going to use our flexible application pad so that our heat transfer vinyl can get its full recommended time and temperature. Glitter flake and fashion film apply at 320 degrees for 15 to 20 seconds. But whenever you are including the flexible application pad, you have to increase it an additional 10 seconds on top of its original time. So instead of applying it for 15 seconds, I'm going to apply it for 25 seconds. All right, so I can go ahead and remove my flexible application pad and we have our completed customized faux leather pad folio. Keep in mind whenever you're decorating heat sensitive items such as this faux leather pad folio to always use heat printing accessories such as the heat printing pillow and the flexible application pad. Now you can see how easy it is to create a customized faux leather pad folio. Now let's talk about how much it costs to produce. Our pad folio cost us $8.99 and our fashion film cost us 54 cents. The glitter flake that we added to the fashion film was 89 cents and our labor and overhead cost us $2.04, leaving us with a cost to produce at $12.46. 
Now you can sell this piece for uh, $28, so that leaves you with a profit of $15.54. I'm Jenna with Stalls TV, and thanks for joining me in the Craft Corner. Are you looking for more ways to use or make money with your craft cutter? Then check out StallsTV.com where you'll find more how-to videos and tutorials just like the one you've watched.